got Perry on the phone here. Okay. All right. And uh, this is quite a funny story. I used to live on a farm many years ago, and uh, Perry and my mom and dad and uh, brothers and sister would come out there for the day. And Perry was the youngest at that time, so he didn't really know a lot. But he asked my mom, Grandma, to you, Grandma, where does chocolate milk come from? <laughs> and my mom being my mom, you know, she was very funny. She would say, Perry, you see that brown cow over there? Yeah. Well, that's where the chocolate milk comes from, you know. And she had him so convinced that he wanted to actually go over there and milk that cow. <laughs> Grandma is, she was the absolute funnest, wildest, craziest, most amazing lady I've ever met. Anyone that knows me and Grandma said I must be reincarnated into her. Um, anything fun, Grandma taught me. My very first drink was at that bar. Uncle Fred and Robert gave it to me. Uh, the next thing I remember, waking up in a bedroom the next day, throwing up. But I have a lot of wonderful memories, and I love the Dutch food, the salty licorice, the barf green stuff that you eat, and it looks like oh, you yeah. throw up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the porridge. And the special porridge Grandma made, and the special chicken noodle soup she made with the little meatballs, and yes, I have millions and millions of memories, Grandma, of her orange earrings and her jewelry box, and just so many memories that I could go on and on. Hi, Grandpa. I am so sorry to hear about Grandma. My thoughts and prayers are with you. It is so amazing that you guys have been married for 77 years. I hope to be able to spend that much time with my significant other. Do you have any tips, Grandpa? I am 22 years old and I, I'm in my fourth year of university. I'm going to school to be a teacher. I hope we'll be able to meet once my mom starts working in the city. My girlfriend and I are excited to spend time with you once we move. We can watch some hockey together, sending you and your family lots of love today and wishing you good health. We'll be thinking of you and your guardian angel, Grandma, today. Love you. It's not an amazing story, but Grandpa, my favorite uh, memory with Grandma was from my father and I, but I thought it was with you. Uh, we went to go see a play here in St. Albert, and it was about a red balloon, and then I think I went swimming after. And that's just one of the few days I remember from my childhood was like that day, spending it with Grandma. And apparently you. Is it you? <laughs> that we went to where? Some play about a red balloon. Like That's one of the few memories of my childhood I have. Earliest memory. I can hardly oh. remember a year ago how <laughs> many <laughs> uh, But all I know is one of my earliest memories is with Grandma, so there you go. <laughs> That's right, yeah, we will be eventually, yeah. yeah. And it's not fair for me. I, I believe. For me, it won't be long. Yeah. Well, my favorite memory is from Grandma. Well, there's too many to pick out one, I think. But my my most endearing one, I think, is is learning how to dance. Because they were my original teachers. Um, I'll never forget Grandpa and Grandma teach, uh, teaching me in the garage. But what I thought was just going to be fun for a little bit. Um, <laughs> It turned into a lifelong career, so, and I'll never forget all the times and the laughs that we had and, you know, all the, all the little mistakes and, and how they eventually brought me to the studio and then 20 some years later I'm still involved in dancing. It became what I did as an adult, it's what I've done my whole adult life, so that's my, 
best memory, I think. So. Louie has carried your That's legacy it. on, Grandpa. That's it. The next generation. Everybody remembers uh, Grandma was always a good time, um, but when we were little, she didn't love kids in the house. She uh, actually really did not love it. Like, if you had to go to the bathroom, it was a stretch for you to get inside to go to the bathroom, right? So that kind of carried on, like, when we had kids, like Tegan, for example, here, and Keely. Um, you know, we would come over, and it was always fun to come over to grandma and grandpa's you guys were always a blast actually like i i would i would come and hang out with you or a friend like it was or my best friend like it was uh always a good time but one one afternoon we came here for a barbecue and uh <laughs> we're in the backyard grandpa me renee and the kids and grandma and uh all of a sudden we can't we can't find tegan so we were having a good time outside. Meanwhile, Teen was inside and she had free reign in grandma's bedroom and bathroom. And she was a probably, how old were you? Probably like, I don't know, four, four years. She was three. Wow. And uh, so all of a sudden grandma kind of realizes, you know, There's where's a Tegan? In the house. And uh, she, <laughs> she goes inside, gets really kind of uh, worked up a little bit and brings Tegan outside. And, and uh, we all said, Stephen, where were you? Like, were you in the house? Like, what were you doing? And she said, no, I wasn't, I wasn't in grandma's stuff. <laughs> we're like, are you sure? You weren't in grandma's stuff? She had lipstick, like, all over her lips, and all you could smell was grandma's, like, perfume. And we said, you sure you weren't in grandma's stuff? No, I wasn't even, I wasn't in grandma's stuff at all. I wasn't in, I wasn't in the house, Dad. You little stinker. But grandma thought it was funny. Just like Kathy, um, one of my favorite memories as well is drinking too much and waking up in somebody else's bed. <laughs> however, however, it has nothing to do with grandma, <laughs> so I probably shouldn't tell that story. Um, also, another one of my favorite memories is uh, also trying on grandma's lipstick and perfume, but uh, it's, it's definitely had a huge influence on my dating life, but I... Don't really wanna, don't really wanna go into those details either. Um, you know, so I guess I don't know why. I guess I was naughty a lot in my. I didn't sleep at home much, so I stayed here some nights, and I stayed in the room upstairs. Um, I could still remember the uh, the texture of the wallpaper. I can still remember drinking that strange orange juice that Grandma used to make. I'm like, what's wrong with this orange juice? It tastes like there's raw eggs in it, of course. Why didn't I think <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, So lots of like fine memories like that. However, <clears throat> oh, by the way, I'm Christopher Detling. I live in Victoria. You probably don't recognize me because I don't come here a lot. Uh, not just because I live in Victoria, but because I'm um, actually I was in jail the last two years. But anyway, so, 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 so the thing is, so the thing is that living in Victoria, um, oftentimes I get woken up by seagulls, you know, so it's not just that they crap all over my vehicle. They, they also actually wake me up really early. Um, but as if that was bad enough, let me tell you about a different way of waking up. Okay, so oh, I already know where the story is. So going. back, <laughs> so back I go to sleeping upstairs. Oh, yeah, no, no. Okay. And of course, yeah, I'm in the back bedroom. I'm sleeping. Um, you know, I, I'm a prolific sleeper. It's one of my, you know, my strengths. Anyway, so uh, so there I was having this most blissful sleep, probably touching the furry wallpaper in my sleep because it was velvet or something like that. Yeah. I think I had underwear made of the same material. Anyway, so, so there I was, just like having a great sleep, and then all of a sudden I felt a presence. Oh. <laughs> I felt somebody drawing close to me. 
<laughs> and I'm like, in my dreams, you know? So I slowly started emerging from my sleep. Yeah. And I slowly started, like, to open my eyes. Yeah. Just in time to see the shape in front of my face, which turned out to was be... Was it a butt? Grandma's bum. <laughs> oh, no. see? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, sorry, what's no. 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 I mean, <laughs> You know? I, it's a dream. I, <laughs> and tell us what came yeah. next, Christopher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't was, end it there. You know, yeah. it was a... It, it was a sphincter like no other because let me tell you the, the sound the sound that came out of this bum like, like maybe maybe an inch and a half from my face like we're talking like you know it was like being front row seats at a U2 concert you know like the thing was like right there you know I think Bono was off singing on one side grandma's butt was on the other side oh my God. you know this high pitched kind of like frilly <laughs> you know, I mean, to this day, I wake up screaming. I wake, I wake up screaming. Oh no, no, I wake up. Look around. Where am I? There's no velvet. There's no velvet wallpaper. There's no sphincter. Bono's not there. There's no YouTube. Maybe he started that story. I knew yeah. where that was ending. Yeah. So you know, I mean, I don't know if it's. I don't know if we should be sharing our best memory or our best trauma. <laughs> <laughs> but, either, but either way, anybody who knows grandma knows that there are oh, it had to be. Yeah, there are, there are two ends where something comes out of that you probably remember. <laughs> but unfortunately, <laughs> I got the other end. Anyway. Oh <laughs> Woo, Christopher! Because no dry toast. <laughs> you guys are dry toast. <laughs> dry toast. <laughs> stories about grandma every time we come here I came late to the party mm -hmm. probably in 2001 I think right <laughs> but always every time we came always a laugh always a laugh never a sad day there was always something to do with <laughs> grandma either making fun of me or her favorite psychard or uh, <laughs> grandpa or anybody like everybody was fair game so um, but one of the, like, like Louie, I didn't take it up as a career, but I remember before our <laughs> wedding, she taught us how to waltz. Yes. And it was so yeah, fun yeah. with grandpa and grandma. Uh, that's probably the only time I've ever danced with a man, grandpa. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> but times in the, down here, we also did that's it in the garage and in the kitchen. And it's something that kind of stuck where grandma, the odd time, she would grab me and we'd be in the kitchen and start, well, don't be a wet noodle. That's right. Don't be a wet noodle. Um, but just a lovely, lovely lady, and I was, uh, it was an honor to know her and an honor to love her, and, um, that's it for my story. Good job, Shane! Yeah. Yeah. That's it! I got a lot of memories, obviously we all do, about Grandma. Uh, one big one is just her contagious laugh that will always stick with me for the rest of my life. Just how she got going and she could get anyone going and it was amazing. Auntie Diana kind of stole the one I was going to go with, the fart machine. That <laughs> she would she'd bring that to every, she'd bring it to our, our house. She would, gr Grandpa it would drive you crazy that fart machine. Um, yeah, and just recently, since I, I, I lived just down the street, we take our dogs um, all the time uh, past Grandma and Grandpa's house, and yeah. I'm just going to miss Grandma all the time. Every time we walked by, there's Grandma, big smile, waving, Grandpa, you too, just waving, and just, uh, I, I, yeah, and just, I'm going to really miss that, and just, also just waving in the last year, you know, from the sun sunroom there, it's just, uh, I'm going to miss Grandma a lot. Yeah. A little small uh, DVD, you remember that? Yeah, I remember, yeah. Yeah. Those so were sad. Nice. Those were nice days, Harry. Yeah. Never uh, forget that. So about uh, a month ago, I was uh, traveling down Douglas Street in downtown Victoria. And there's a building there, and it's a bus depot. My parents used to come there several times by bus all the way from Edmonton. Oh There's this one time they came. Um, 
The bus arrived at 6. Across right. street from the bus depot is the Crystal Gardens, which is a dance hall. They got off the bus, we went right up to Crystal, and they danced all night. No! Yes, Grandpa! I'm so proud of you! What's that? I still can't believe Mom is gone. Yeah, I can't believe it either, Barry. It's terrible. Yeah. Uh, Jared come home without her. Yeah, it's not the same anymore. No, it's not. No. They were on a tour with me. I used to have a tour <laughs> company. And we went to Pasadena, California for the Rose Bowl Parade. And I think I had seven or eight busloads of people. And I talked to my mom and dad and I said, look, don't get lost. I, this is where I want you to be after the parade. And they promised me they weren't going to get lost, you know, I said, because dad, if you're not here at this time, we have to leave. We can't hold all these people up. So anyway, the time came to go, and guess what? Grandma and Grandpa weren't there. My mom and dad were not there. They were totally bloody lost. We had a hell So what did we do? We left. All the buses left, and my mom and dad stayed behind in Pasadena, California. Grandpa, <laughs> did you really? Yeah, oh it was God. a true story. Oh did you dance? Where did you stay, Grandpa? Where did they stay, Dad? No, well, they didn't. We finally did round them oh. up. Okay, as a happy What a story though. <laughs> Starts with a girl. Oh. Signor, signor, signorina Gasparini. She was this Italian girl that I was dating, and man, she was. I could show you pictures later. Anyway, so she's, she was really fantastic. This was like around 2000 before like most of y'all were born. Because I'm, I'm getting up there. Anyway, so uh, we decided to take some dance lessons together. And, uh, you know, the signorina, bless her soul. She was very non-committal about these dance lessons. Well, as it turns out, Grandma and Grandpa come to town already. Okay, so when Grandma finds out that my signorina didn't want to go to dance lessons with me, she's like, Christopher, we will go. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my God, really? I mean, I mean, you know, like there's a point in your life where you'd be proud of this happening. Yes, yes. And then there's like the point in your life when you're young. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, and I'm just like, oh my god, okay, whatever. And so compounding this fact is like I had minimal driving experience. I think I had my learner's permit at that point. Um, anyway, so uh, my dad lent me his uh, Chevy Cavalier. Gra <laughs> Grandma and I piled into this car like we're on a hot date or something like that. <laughs> and, and, tear, and tear off to the dance studio. Okay, well anyway, I mean... I don't know, maybe I'm old fashioned. I read the wrong textbook. I thought the guy was supposed to lead. Anyway. Oh, wow. no. Grandma. Grandpa, I have no idea how you danced with Where's her. My husband's 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 so I can prove to Michael that I was. She's, <laughs> she's a very strong willed woman. Yeah. I mean, she's, she's breaking all the gender boundaries. Like, Grandma is gender studies. Like, she I'm, was before her time. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Anyway, so, I mean, the important thing is, is that she didn't, didn't just emasculate me in front of like everybody on the bloody dance floor and stuff like that. Anyway, allegedly the dance instructor was doing the wrong thing. And so, oh! and so Grandma was like continually interrupting the dance instructor. Oh, no, grandma? no, that's not the way you do it. It's like this, oh, no. you know, and then so she ditches me, runs off, they, and we're talking like there's like 20, 30 people in this room. So she like runs up to the oh, dance instructor, so grabs him, no, like this. I'm like slinking off into the corner. Oh, yeah. So I mean, great story. Yeah. So she was. Uh, so she yeah, wasn't that I told. She was really strong-willed. She was an incredible dancer, and she wasn't uh, scared of that. So Grandpa, I mean, you're really lucky to have a, an exciting, spicy, wonderful, <laughs> spicy lifelong yeah, relationship. Hi. Hi. Should I? Yes. Call your favorite. Where's Jim? Well, uh, one of my favorite is, I still have a picture of it, and I was at, uh, uh, doing we'll call you back, Terry. No, 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 he's the same. And all of a sudden, and Lilo was standing in front of me with the camera. Lilo. <laughs> me with my pants down. What? In the bathroom? Yeah. Your pants down? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs>
<laughs> That's a grass. Okay. Yeah. And I will never forget my aunt, and he also, of course, Uncle George. But oh, you're George. lucky he's still with us. But she was an amazing woman, and yeah, she's very deep in my heart. And you know, I will bring, I will uh, carry her my whole life, and good memories too. She was always so good for me and my parents and. All you guys were very good to me and for my parents too. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, wow. Go ahead. I just remember always coming down here for Christmas and it'd be such a blast. She'd always have music going on that thing. And we'd be dancing, running around. She'd dance with us and it was a blast. I remember Christmas a blast. Yeah. And then I also have like um this is probably the last memory I had of her. Um, but basically, every single time I'd come over, she'd always, 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 always make me play the piano. Oh, yeah. I leave. Yeah. And so the last time I saw her, the last time I got to play piano for her, she told me, uh, she told me, of course, very good job, Ava. She said, you have such a good talent. Never stop. You hear me? Do it for grandma. She now she told me I have to play piano all the time and I have to do it for her and I can never stop. And, she, and then she also told me, take care of your family always. I love you. Oh, that is so amazing. Thank you for sharing that. So I'm going to talk about my favorite memories of grandma. And they, they start from when she would come to babysit us, when mom and dad would go dancing, and James would hide under the bed. <laughs> James would hide under the bed. And then I also remember coming to Grandpa your house for Sunday brunch, and we would have um, eggs and toast, and then she would make for me um, the smooth porridge, and we would sit on the Muskoka chairs, and we'd each one on each side and we'd let our porridge cool and it was my favorite and to this day I make it for Alexa and she just loves it and then uh, you know I go through other memories that we have of grandma and of course Shane talked about the dancing and that was really special that we could kind of carry that on to our first dance at our wedding and then the Dutch heritage like my family really appreciates grandma sharing their Dutch heritage of the croquettes well, the chutzput, the uh, ole bowling, like every New Year's we have ole bowling. Um, so I think that's something that's special that will carry on for our family for generations as well. So, awesome. Yeah, those Thank are my memories you. of Grandma. Oh. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Well, I have only known Mom for about 15 years. No. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and I'll never forget the the sadness is all all um, I've cut the Dutch culture. I'll never forget the Dutch culture. The schietelate, the the psychers, the oh my god, schiet up or oh my god, I'll never forget it. Mom was always. Well, yeah, Mom was a big personality. I don't think anybody can bump her. She was a big personality. Always at the parties with the best party person. She yeah. gave the best parties. Yeah. She gave 100%. her heart. When we were little, she baked for the whole bloody neighborhood. Yeah. Um, and I remember one time she came to Texas and she brought the dreaded thing that Dad hated. Oh, <laughs> what was yeah. it? The fart machine. Oh, no. <laughs> she brought the fart machine. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And she had so much fun. So all our people over, mom would put it in the plant. And, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and one night we got on the phone and we called everybody we knew and they said hello. <laughs> the whole night we, we called everybody and everybody was so pissed off. Why are you calling us? That's disgusting. What bad manners. And we called Frances and she was upset, but finally she started laughing too. The fart machine was it. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'll never forget that. And all the good times we had in Texas, Dad, when you and Mom would go dancing. And yeah. they even have uh, two dance moves called the George and Elizabeth. Aww. In, in Texas. That's yeah. so cool, Grandpa. And uh, when, yeah. since we were little, we Great never knew Mom so talked with an accent. We never. Mom talked normal. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. My mom didn't have an accent. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about, you know? And uh, Mom's house, the door was always open. We had lots of friends. We had Corey and Lottie and everybody. 
there is never anybody that mom didn't welcome. She was always very big heart, and she loved us all. And in the in the COVID year, she would always say on the phone, "If anything happens, I just want you to know I love you so much." In the bloody COVID year, but we love you, mom. I'll never forget you. Never. Never. You're my mama. Always. Oh, Legacy will live on. Yeah. Way to be MJ. Did he say flirting? Yes. <laughs> she flirted and tooted and tooted in front of his friends. <laughs> Who else does that? <laughs> con mi hijo y encontramos a la abuelita uh, y ella tenía la máquina esa solita usándolo en otras personas. Thank you. I just want to just want to say that I want that I'm very pleased and thankful that everybody came here for grandma to talk about yeah. her lovely memories. Life. Right? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Who else lives to 98? And I think Dad also wants to say that don't forget he's going to be all alone now and he's going to need us to visit him now and then. Yeah, right. now and then, now always. And then. Yeah, it's all of us. Have the coffee on. Yeah. 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 Grandpa, we're all here because of you and Grandma. Yeah. You're yeah. our leaders. Yeah. Thank you. You're our heroes. And we love you with all our heart. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. And from what was skinny little girl from Amsterdam with her tiny baby tucked under her arm. Across the ocean, across Canada, she arrives in, in Edmonton in October, the coldest time of the year. She missed Amsterdam, she missed her family, and there she Couldn't was speak English. in the cold Canadian Crazy. prairies. Uh, you had to live with your mom and dad for a while, yeah. and then you went to the house above the store, yeah. and after that the wartime house, yeah. and after that the Avonmore house, yeah. or the Riley house. One of them. And, and anyway, and then 8121, and finally here for 60 years. Wow. 60 years. Wow. And Round of applause for Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah. Woo! Who yeah. doesn't have a whistle like this? Doo -doo. Come on, not one of us. Okay, thank you, Nicole. <laughs> 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 Uh, something's wrong with that thing. Grandma and Grandpa went to Arthur Murray for 35 years. They danced for 35 years. It's unreal. They taught in St. Albert Community Center for many, many years, have many students, many friends. And the Edmonton Journal, Rick Nick Lease, made a big article, second page of the Edmonton Journal in May. Which was Mom amazing. It yeah. was an they amazing story. Yes, they were they are. famous at the Royal Alex for their love. They were yep. famous. All the nurses were so jealous of that love they had. Grandpa, if any of our marriages have a quarter of what you had, we will be blessed. So blessed. Yes. Yeah. How many people can, can say they've been in love for 77 years? Not many. No, he lost some money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Here's your first payment. So. <laughs> that on there too? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's when we start dancing. That's what we do. 